The research behind each outfit recreation usually involves a great many books and, where possible, museum and gallery visits too. To recreate Queen Victoria's gown from the 1848 article in the Illustrated London News, we found a beautiful silk gown of a similar date and style in the costume collection of Normanby Hall in North Lincolnshire. The cream silk wedding dress is of the same cut and construction as the illustrated gown, but both gowns differ in superficial details. Queen Victoria's gown has a bertha of Honington lace, while the wedding dress has a pleated bertha of matching dress fabric. We omitted the lace that adorned the hem of Queen Victoria's gown due to cost. A key construction technique for this era of gown is that the bodice and skirt are created separately, and once complete, delicately stab stitched together with the stitches concealed between the piping of the bodice. The skirt is attached to a slender waistband with all the turnings folded down into the skirt, thus avoiding any extra bulk about the waist and maintaining the smallest of silhouettes. The position and shape of each bodice seam was noted and recorded, along with the finishing techniques, number of bones used and the style of fastening. Both lacing and hook and eye closures were used at the time. We also recorded the fabric width and the complete width of the skirt at the hem. The position and style of pockets was also noted. Measurements, sketches and photographs were all taken. The tiara was chosen to match the rest of the jewellery based on the illustration. A later colourised version of the engraving shows that the jewellery was mainly sapphires and diamonds set in gold. She is shown wearing long chandelier style earrings a large necklace and black ribbon bracelets that we interpreted as velvet, as it would have been the most expensive ribbon. Victoria's heart locket was one she likely wore every day, as it contained a lock of Albert's hair. The locket features in quite a few portraits of her. Queen Victoria's famous engagement ring was designed by Prince Albert. It was shaped like a serpent, which represented commitment and wisdom. The ring is adorned with diamonds, rubies and a central emerald, which was Victoria's birthstone. In the engraving it's hard to see exactly what style her hair is. We concluded that the hairstyle was adorned with lappets, which was fashionable for evening wear at the time. A lappet is a decorative hanging piece of fabric or lace. Here she is wearing velvet lappets to match her dress in the 1840 portrait of her by John Partridge. The lappets that she's wearing in the engraving might have matched her gown. However, it's possible that the colorist wasn't sure what they were looking at, so they matched them to her hair. Because of this, it was hard to decide upon a definitive interpretation without further experimentation that we didn't have the time or budget for. We chose a hairstyle that was commonly worn by Victoria. <laughs>